adding normal users is in the global so if you hit global let's hit lock just so that you see what that is so now when you hit the lock this is the same as hitting this same as hitting it does the same deal uh, this is a read only screen so if I went there the cursor is going but when I start typing nothing happens um, it's a read only screen so whatever you do in global is going to show up over here um, so there's the new master code that the computer selected and it is enabled. But user 12 is where normal users live. Everything 1 through 11, remember it was in that admin screen. <coughs> the DTM code lives in slot 299. And all the alarm locks that are made, this is where this stuff lives. Uh, DTM download code is 299, so that's why I made the code 0299. Uh, One-time service code is 300, slot number 300. The lock doesn't know whose names belong to where. It only knows these user numbers, so they're like addresses in the lock. So if you want to manually uh, delete somebody or, or manually add somebody, you would follow the instructions and add user 290 and add them a code or a card. So that's where this all is. And you can see that I just activated that enabled user 299. But to add a user, we go to global and we select it up here in this first name normal user. And we just added a person. Let's add a second person. This second person. Here we go. And let's add a third person. Yeah, third person. Okay. And notice we don't need a last name. So we've just added three people, but they are not in the door and they don't have any way of getting in. Well, the normal user, I want to give them a PIN number. So let's pick out a PIN number. 5522234. Sure, why not? but the second person I want to give them a card and so we're going to add a card and when we do this this may be checked so if it is checked uncheck it and the first thing you need to know is is the card type and in most cases it's going to be the HID 26 bit you need to know this information it could be on the box uh, the box may say format H10301, that is HID 26 bit. If it's something else, you'll have to call your um, place up and find out what it is. The hot stamp number is the small number printed on the card, not the long number. That is the order number. So the small number could be 5523, maybe with a zero in front. And facility code, and that's also on the box. That's an embedded code inside the card, and um, every card is made different. So you need to know what the facility code is, build card data. Notice it turns that uh, kind of a yellow, whatever color that is, brown, tan, beige. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Normal user has a pin. Second person has a card, third person, we're going to give them a card and a pen. So card number is going to be, what was the last, well, let's see, 5588, five, doesn't matter. Yeah, facility code 184. And then we're going to add them a pen. And just click out of the box, get out of there. So this third person is going to need both pieces of information to get in that door. They're going to flash the card, the lock's going to beep, 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 beep waiting for their code, 4477, and then it will let them in. This person just puts their card up and it lets them in. This person just puts their code and lets them in. <coughs> so if you need someone with a, the second person needs a card and a code separately, They, you'll need to put them in twice and let's have the generate selected new code 
Yes, I'm sure. Uh, let's make it five digits. And there we go. So now this person can do their card or a uh, pin. This person has to do card and pin. Very important to know. So now we're going to select normal user. I want them to go and lock one. I double click and lock two. And the second person, I just want them to go into lock two. And it's saying that I can't put that person into lock two because it doesn't have a prox reader on it. So it's smart. <coughs> so let's put the prox card in the prox card lock. And same way with this one. We could do that and we could do that because now their number will only work in that lock, right? Because it doesn't have a reader on it. And second person can go into both of them because they both have keypads. And that's how you add people cards to the locks.